Hey everybody, Mike with Games Play Badly, uh, and today I want to talk to you about something that I haven't done in quite a while. Uh, this channel was originally started as a miniature painting channel. I figured, you know, I hadn't painted miniatures for probably 30 years, and I figured I'd drag everybody along for the ride so they could watch me screw everything up. Um, and I've gotten away from that a little bit just because I've been doing the interviews. Uh, and I haven't had as much time to uh, do miniature painting. So that's something I'm going to start up again. And because of that, I kind of wanted to start from uh, square one. So one of the things that I've mentioned uh, to people in the past and in some of my videos is how I got started painting again for the first time in, again, 30 years. Um, and I picked up something from a little company, if you may know them, uh, named Reaper. And uh, I picked up their um, Learn to Paint box. Yeah, there we go. So the Learn to Paint box. So basically this box itself uh, comes with everything you need to start painting, including an instruction booklet. Uh, and it will go through some of the beginning techniques uh, and uh, uh, such as, you know, combining uh, colors, uh, a little bit of shading or the concept of shading, washes, things like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go through and unbox this for you right now. Now this is actually a gift for my number one fan, uh, Matt, you know who you are, happy birthday. And I got this for him because he's watched all of my painting videos. As a matter of fact, he's probably watched all my videos since I started my channel over a year ago. And uh, he's never really painted it on his own. So I wanted to get him something so he could get started too. And uh, maybe he'll enjoy it. So let's get started. Okay, so here's the actual box itself. So it functions as obviously not only uh, a container for the paints, but something that's reusable and it actually holds additional paints. So if we take a look at the back here, it'll give you an idea of what you have. Base coat, washing, dry brushing. Uh, those are all important. It comes with Reaper Bones miniatures. The one thing I've got to say about Reaper Bones miniatures, the reason why this is awesome is Reaper Bones miniatures don't need to be primed. Don't prime them because you'll screw them up and uh, the paint will not take and it will be an absolute mess. Uh, so don't do that. But um, so it comes with three miniatures. It comes with these paints here. It comes with a couple brushes and it comes with an instruction booklet. So let's go ahead and open this up. I'm going to go ahead and use my little clipper here. Now this little tie here, uh, I'm not sure if Reaper's still doing it, but this tie was important uh, because there's a little support card inside and they want you to keep track of what color your tie was for quality assurance. So if something's missing or something's broken, um, you'll provide them with your uh, tie color and uh, the card number. Let's go ahead and open this up. Okay. So um, what you have here is, this is different from the one that I originally got. Mine was originally all foam. But Reaper has moved to this kind of plastic tray that holds all your paints. Uh, and so these are the paints that you're gonna get. And uh, unfortunately, with this box, sometimes they slip through the grating. And so I'm gonna take these out and I'll take this plastic piece out. So that way we get all the paints out. Okay, so as I was mentioning, this is the card. So if you take a look at that card, it has a number on it. And um, I won't show you the number, obviously. But uh, what you'll do is include your shipping address, correspondence. Um, please reference the color of the security tie. See that? So that's the reason why, if, it's a, if you're going to throw the tie away, write on here what color the tie is, because the tie is gray. So, um, so that way, if you have to call them, that's all you have to do. So... Let's go ahead and put that to the side. Now what we have here are miniatures. I'm gonna set this tray off to the side here. So these are your miniatures. There's one more in here as well. I'm not gonna open these up. But there's an orc. There is a, oh, there's an orc there. He's facing backwards, not real helpful. A skeleton, and then there's a guy in some awesome armor with a shield here. And this gives you some really good uh, instruction on how to, for instance, 
the chain mail, you're gonna go through and paint silver and then you're gonna do a dark wash over it. So it really brings out those silver or the, the individual links. Um, so that shows you washing. Um, base coating obviously is just putting your colors down. Uh, it'll go through and, and teach you how to mix some things together. So that way you can get some uh, contour on these miniatures. So it's actually pretty awesome. So I'm gonna put the miniatures to the side here. Comes with two brushes. And these brushes are actually really good. Um, I got a kit where the brushes were not that great, um, and it turns out they weren't really Reaper brushes. They were made by somebody else, and uh, they'd run out of Reaper brushes, so. Um, but these are actually really good, and it comes with two brushes. One of them is a, di a dry brush. So a dry brush, let me see if I have one handy, kind of looks like that. Let me put my hand on it. Kind of looks like that. You see how it's flat? And uh, so that technique, you'll use a brush like this. And I believe it comes with a zero brush. And probably something like that. A little bit smaller. Um, and what's interesting is every kit, so they have multiple kits. They have, um, they have this kit. They have a second kit called Layer Up, which teaches you how to highlight and shade things. Um, and those comes with, come with even more brushes. And so by the time you get those, as you're kind of moving through your uh, painting uh, career, uh, you get all the uh, various brushes you'll need and you learn all the techniques as you kind of go along. So, so there are the brushes. And then this is your book. And the book is really awesome. And these, this gives you a better idea of what the, what the miniatures are. Uh, it gives you a flat two and a standard zero. Yeah, so that's a zero size brush. So what you're gonna notice is um, as numbers go up, the uh, brushes are uh, fatter or bigger. Um, you can go from zero uh, to double zero, which is smaller, to triple zero, to five zero, six zero, and those get smaller. So typically the larger the number, uh, the bigger the brush. And so, um, uh, Rhonda Bender is an amazing uh, painter in her own right, and she does some great work, and her insights here are fantastic. So um, these are all the colors that you get. Gives you Bones miniatures, everything about those. They're, they, they are very durable. Um, I've actually stepped on them and not broken them, but I would prefer not to do that. Um, and so... What they do mention is you may find some fine lines on some surfaces because these are molded, uh, and so you're gonna have some, you may have some mold lines on there. You're gonna go through and you're gonna take um take an exacto knife like this. Be careful because they're sharp. It's kind of a silly thing to say, but they are. Uh, and you can go through and scrape with the blade across the surface to get those off. You can use the back too, depending on how thick they burr is um, and in some cases you can actually use um, you can use like a nail file um, but I would recommend against that because it's a lot easier to take more off than you want to. Um, so so Reaper brand paints adhere well to bones plastic so no primer is needed so don't don't prime these again uh, it really doesn't need it and it can cause some problems which I found out the hard way so there are a bunch of different things uh, the there's some kind of tips on, you know, over thinning your paints, things like that. Their paint, um, their paints are typically pretty well thinned, unless you need to do something like a wash with them. If you're gonna do, do a custom wash, you're gonna add more water to them, but um, yeah, don't really need to worry about that. So it's gonna go through everything that you need to do um, to uh, paint, to start painting. And what it's gonna actually go through is it's gonna go through, for instance, here we are, here's your, Skeleton miniature. It's gonna step one base coat. It's gonna tell you how to base coat it, what to use, um, tell you what color to use. It gives you some paint mixing ideas here, uh, and then it's gonna go further in, and it's gonna tell you about the wash. Step three is a dry brush. Uh, step four, dry brush a highlight color, and then finishing it off. And so this is what it should look like kind of at the end, depending on if you do, I mean, you can be creative and not use these instructions at all, but if you're following these instructions, it should kind of look like that at the end. It gives you some more close-up detailed pictures and 
gives you some finishing detail techniques. Uh, and so for every miniature, you're gonna get the exact thing that you need to do to make this miniature look like this. And I thought it was so cool when I did the orc for the first time and those um, muscles started popping out. It just, it was so cool. I felt like I could do anything. So these are, these are, this is a very, very good uh, way to start painting. Um, so, you know, and they're, they're, these are core paint techniques they're gonna teach you. And what they're gonna do is on the, and the next layer up, you're gonna just be building on top of all of that. So uh, you're gonna be using um, the techniques that they use in this book, which is the base coat washing and dry brushing. And then you're gonna get into uh, highlighting and shade and blending. There's all sorts of stuff that comes up. So um, look for these kits, there are many of them. Uh, there are some of them that are not teaching kits, they're just kits. You, you buy them, you get uh, some paints, sometimes you get some figs, sometimes you get some brushes. Um, and but some of them don't come with this. But if you want to learn how to paint, this is a great way to do it. Um, and so on to the big thing, which is um, the most important part of this box is your paints. So each paint has a number. Easy reorder has a name as well. Leather brown. So you get several browns in here. You get black. You get tan. You get white. You get green. You obviously have to have black in there somewhere. And then you get something called a metallic paint. And so metallic paints uh, really, uh, they have um, little bits in them of mica or what have you to give them some shine. So these are great, but they're also, um, they can be difficult on your brushes. And if you're using, um, eventually if you use a wet palette, you don't want to use these on a wet, on a wet palette. Uh, and, uh, but uh, yeah, so these are metallics. Be careful with them. Uh, I typically try and keep a separate pot of water. So if I'm going to be rinsing brushes, if I'm doing brushes and metallics, I rinse them in a different um, container of water only because if I do them all in the same pot, what it ends up happening is all those little glinty bits get mixed in with the paint that I'm using for everything else. So all of a sudden I have glinty bits in my, uh, my dragon blue, which uh, wouldn't be terrible if that was what you're going for, but a lot of times you forget and it just kind of makes it mess. So these are all the paints that you get, and uh, real reasonably priced. I think this was uh, twenty or thirty dollars, thirty-five dollars, I think. Um, but these paints will last you forever. I mean, you don't use a whole lot of them. Um, you know, a couple, couple drips and drops here, and that's actually how in the book they'll tell you how to mix paints by the amount of drops that you use. So you use a drop of this and a drop of that, or a drop of this and two drops of that. Um, the dropper bottles are really easy to use. I prefer them over pots like um, Games Workshop because if I knock these over, they're not going to spill all over the place and I'm prone to knocking things over. So, um, Either way, these are really good paints. Just make sure that you shake them up real good. You got to shake them up real good because they tend to separate and then all of a sudden when you pour your paint out, you get a lot more of the suspension uh, liquid than you do the color and it just doesn't take right. So, Shake your paints real well. Um, and then at the end of your session, make sure you clean your brushes. You don't have to be super hard on them. So just take your brushes and put them in a tank of water. Have a water cup like I have here. It's filthy right now, I gotta clean it out. But um, rinse them out there and then dab them onto a cloth here. And keep doing that until there's no more paint coming out on the brush and uh, your brushes will be ready for the next use. These should last you for a good long time. So um, also do not um, put your brushes bristle down into a cup because what that does is all of a sudden it bends them uh, and then the brush is really hard to use so don't do that and this is a example of what happens to a, a brush when it's kind of gone see how it's not keeping a it's not keeping a tip anymore and it's all the bristles are just kind of going everywhere um, now don't throw your brushes away your brushes are always useful I use this if I'm going to uh, mix paint um, together sometimes. Uh, sometimes I use it if I want to lay down a whole bunch of paint at once and I really don't care. I'll go ahead and use a bigger brush like this because this holds some paint. But uh, don't throw your brushes away. You can always reuse them for something. I could go on and on and on. I have several tools videos that go through um, dry, dry brushing, washing, um, the care of your brushes, things like that. But I just really wanted to focus and highlight on uh, this beauty right here. So if you want to learn how to paint 
Uh, this is a great way to do it. I use it. I know a lot of people who have, and Reaper's a great company to start with. Um, because they have everything you need to continue on and their paints are really, really good. Um, and I love their miniatures too. So thanks for stopping by and watching my little video here. And uh, Matt, again, happy birthday. This should be coming to you here in a few days. Uh, if you have any questions, post it uh, in the comments below or you can find me at uh, at badly underscore games on Twitter.